Hey, uh, I did my indie lab on uh, physics in Super Mario 64. Uh, I wanted to actually do, I didn't quite go as deep as I was hoping. Uh, I should say it's probably something I should mention at the end. But I did find a lot of interesting data, and it's mostly analysis based, and I found it, it was actually pretty interesting. Um, I did it to uh, figure out that, I said quantum rules, but that really just turned out to be like gravity. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what if those rules would allow techniques to be in the real world, or what would happen if, like implication of those rules, if, for example, how, uh, if gravity was higher, then how would it affect somebody jumping in, in this world, and if it was lower, how would it affect it would jumping in the other world? Um, like that. But first, let's talk about parallel universes. Just kidding, I didn't do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the game, Super Mario 64, uh, Mario's able to do, pretty, do some pretty cool acrobatics. Um, usually, and the biggest thing, of course, is just how high he can jump. And uh, after doing statistics, statistics, it's actually really, really high. Uh, <laughs> most, most of the jumps would be impossible to do. Uh, uh, so I either wanted to figure out uh, how much energy he's using, or how much, uh, how much lower the gravity is, and how much energy it would take otherwise. Um, background, some important things. Uh, finding Mario's height was, was probably the most important thing because you can measure it at any time, wherever you want to find him falling. Um, I found a way to take off Mario's hat, uh, which is something you can do uh, in one of the levels. And actually, it's pretty cool because you can lose your hat and then, yeah. Uh, 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 I didn't quite know what I should have done to find Mario's exact height. Uh, there actually was an official height but it was too sh it was like too high from what it could have been, especially compared to doors. And most doors are, are two meters, so I, that's kind of like the grand assumption. Like, oh, if a door is two meters, then that's how tall Mario is, which is kind of going out there. But I could not use the official height because that's for if he was t super Mario, like tall. You know, he's, he's clearly very short uh, in this game. Um, so, uh, either Mario's gravity is weaker, or in the game, or Mario's super strong because the gravity is super high and he's jumping really, really, really high. Uh, I thought B was more likely because it doesn't have fear to. There we go. And we'll have to see more tomorrow. Stay tuned, Fifth Out. What? Oh, this is a second part of a presentation that we're coming back to now that I was cut off and didn't get around to it, and we left off here on the background where we're trying to, the real background, I don't know what I call it, um, where we're trying to figure out whether or not Mario's world has less gravity or stronger gravity. And we did. And I did that too. I did that too. Ah yes, equipment used. Uh, I used a, an emulator on my computer, a, a ROM, which is basically a thing that the emulator runs for the game, log pro and a screen recording program called Open Broadcasting Service. Now, something important is that sharing video games online is kind of in like the not legal-ish zone, but if you're doing it for if you're doing it for science, you know, do fine by me. I don't have anything to do. But don't, don't do it. You wouldn't download a car. I mean, you wouldn't. You <laughs> might <laughs> <laughs> download a car. <laughs> this is kind of what it looked like. Um, it's, it's all my compiled stuff over there. This is kind of just an image. As you can see, I, uh, I found some stars for science as well. Some uh, ideas of kind of what I was doing. It's hard to see in some places, but I, if you look, you can hear there are some blue dots, which are uh, representative of like, his starting position. Kind of like a point, like that kind of didn't move too much when he switched to animations going up and down. So, for example, like the very middle of them, I put here and then went up here. And I did that several times to get a more accurate uh, data, get an average of it. Uh, data tables. Uh, these are some of the uh, 
things I did for the falling, where, and this is what I found for his gravity, which is, uh, I found the final velocity first, I believe, after, basically, because I fi figured out how much distance he covered and, uh, after a set amount of time, and found out the acceleration due to gravity, which is actually really a, a lot more than on Earth. Uh, and we found the forces, how much force would be put on Mario and gravity, and force of gravity on Mario uh, there. Did I, did I do, find something for his weight? Uh, I don't know. I'll go back to <laughs> this is a single jump. I uh, put that because he jumps way higher than any basketball player ever. Uh, this, for the single jump, as you can see, he you can kind of see how, how high he would jump in the game relative to uh, the measurements and how much, how much energy he would use on either place to reach that height on Earth and how much energy he would use um, how much energy would be used to reach that height on Earth and how much energy is used in the game uh, to reach that height because of the stronger gravity. And if you use that much energy, at the same amount of time on Earth, then he would jump that high, which is almost like twice as high in, all, in every case. And the averages are all here. So he jumps about, this one jump, he jumps over four meters. Uh, his double jump, which isn't actually a normal double jump, he doesn't jump in the air. He just jumps a second time and he jumps higher. Same thing, you can kind of see, he jumps a lot higher and he can kind of high enough to jump over a giraffe. Yes, Dr. Schuster. What, he doesn't jump double? Uh, so, in the game, I should probably should explain this. And, um, Thank you. When he jump, when he uh, is moving, well actually, he can do it when he's standing still as well. So when he's standing still, if you jump after just jumping once, in like quick succession, he'll jump a second time, but it'll be higher than the first jump. So you have so both jumps are off the ground though. Yes. So he jumps and lands, and yeah. then jumps again, but higher than the first time? Yeah, so he kind of goes, hua, and then he goes, hua, and then he goes, hua. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a very, like, triple jump. Uh, yeah, I'll get to that. There, and there's also a yeah, triple yeah. jump. This he can only do while he's moving, which made the thing doing it. Oh my gosh. Making the thing, the, uh, when he's jumping, a lot higher. And it's way higher than any other jump, so, as you can see here. Uh, and it's really, really high. You can leap average residential buildings in a single bound after two successive bounds. Also doing a sweet uh, back flip or front flip. Uh, quite high. And here's some uh, calculations that I did. I uh, kind of <laughs> to find. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. Keep going. Yeah. Um, so to find the amount of energy he used, I used kinetic energy. Equals, equals, I used energy before equals energy after. So I could figure out how, how much he, he weighs uh, based on how much he jumps, how high he jumps, uh, to find the kinetic energy. Because he, he would take the same amount of energy to reach that height as it would to reach, as it would falling down. Um, and then I, I, oh, and the E there is for the Earth, and then the second one, is SM, kind of could do that better, to find how much energy it would have used on Super Mario. And here I found it, uh, and then I found how much height you would have covered by dividing the kinetic energy you would have used in that spot divided by the gravity, the, the force of gravity on, on Earth to find delta Y, like in that other question. And here are the, all the averages put together for Yes, Dr. Can you uh, go back one slide, please? Thank you. I just wanted to clarify. On the left, you said the E and the SM, where it says, like, Mugsme. That, there's, the E and the SM should have been subscripts on Baby G's? Yes. Okay, I understand. Yes, there are subscripts. I was very bad about that. Shame. Uh, so here, here are all the average I found. He uses, uh, for each jump, he uses weight, uh, a lot of energy. His highest height reach was over 12 meters tall. Uh, here's some thoughts. Um, Mario should probably not be a plumber and get into gymnastics. 
He can triple jump over 11 times his own height, which is pretty good, and he's short. Uh, uh, if, Mario and, if Mario could put all that energy into one kick, he would ever have over 12 times uh, the energy, the, mu the muzzle energy, of a 9mm bu uh, bullet, and very close to the energy of, from a rifle with a .338 Lapua Magnum bullet, which is 8.58 by 70 millimeters. 70, is, 70 millimeters is the uh, length of the bullet. And, uh, <laughs> That's big. Yeah, it's a very large bullet. Um, uh, so he should probably just not jump on them and just like kick them. Actually, he usually he can do that in Super Mario 64. So hey, um, it's also soccer, and uh, he's already done all these sports. So uh, he's got the right idea. Uh, there are a lot of errors, and that I'll explain that picture. Uh, considering. This is almost all completely based on analyzation, so there's a lot of room for error if analyzing things are wrong or if the program's kind of weird. Um, and a lot, there aren't a lot of official things to go off of, so yeah, that can obviously be off margin. Using a door probably isn't the best idea, but it's definitely you know kind of a, a good solid estimation. Uh, he, if you mess up the gravity, gravity is super important along with height as well. So if you, it's kind of hard to mess up, even if it's if I can get it as tough as possible. Um, and when you're collecting data in this experiment, you, there is a way to freeze the camera in place so it doesn't follow you when you can move around, uh, which uh, was pretty good. Um, so like when you're jumping, it'll move up with you, and that's not, that'll obviously ruin all your things. So you can freeze it in place. However, it will still move up and down, which is what this is for because it's moving. And, and, and but the camera's controlled by this like floating, like keeper sort of guy, and that's I blame him. Uh, the, so in order to fix this, this is mainly for the third jump. If I went back to my data, I got had to get pretty much as far away as from the camera as possible because I always knew exactly what Mario's height was. In order to minimize the amount of yaw from the camera going up and down. And that's why I took as many multiple trials to get an interesting average. A conclusion. I, I did have a fun, a lot of, actually a lot of fun on this. And it's not just because in between taking data sessions I actually played the game. Uh, this, uh, I, think, I think it was, you know, I've never really done something like, like it before. Uh, I did manage to find the, the quantum rule for gravity, which was a very large 20 se negative 27.4 meters per second per second for the acceleration. It would, I'd find that it would not be easier to pull off a Mario jump. It would make it way more difficult. And the implication to the rules in the game would be that Mario would be able to jump really, really, really high in this gravi gravity. Uh, so there's some joke about Superman I put in there. Uh, you're not going to tell us the joke. Well, yeah. If you train, if you train his jumping powers, to jump even higher. He can fly and get heat rays. You know, because the gravity is way stronger, according to on Krypton. Because on Krypton, it was about twenty percent stronger than its gravity. Right now, it's about zero percent. Right now, it's about wow. too soon. <laughs> Boy, I think Superman. Uh, I was looking for some way to find the force behind the jump to give a good comparison, but I think I either needed more data or need to know something about the jerk, which is uh, weird. I also would, if I did this again, I would probably, I would probably find something to not make the camera yaw at all, to mi or move up and down, whatever it's called, pitch, uh, to get more accurate data results, which is probably something that you could do. Um, and, oh, what else? I want to find another, there, he does a lot more stuff. He can jump off walls, and it also seems like certain jumps he does actually, uh, like has, he has a long jump, and he can jump really far and without touching the ground, which I actually think like almost, it almost looks like when he does it, it lowers the gravity, which was kind of a weird thing to do. Um, yeah, and yeah. And also, more importantly, I will have 120 stars and beat Super Mario and get on top of Castle and see Yoshi, which nobody has ever done before, ever. Ever. 
sorry, I, that's not true. I have to tell the truth only on this. Uh, oh, and just to make note on that parallel universe thing I brought once. There's actually a real thing uh, where, uh, because uh, there's like a video, it's kind of a meme sometimes, uh, where the map is based on, a position on the map is based on a floating point number, and whether or not you're on, la on land or not is based on the number. So if you go out of bounds somehow by gain infinitely gaining speed, uh, you can go out, you can find a spot where you're still, you're out of bounds, but you're still on land, so you can keep moving, and you can go all around uh, the map and uh, do some crazy stuff. Also, there's such a thing as half an A press. What a word. What a world. And I also have this video, which is kind of the, the, the inspiration. That's the word. Inspiration for all this. Also, there was the Super Smash Bros. Melee uh, in the lab presentation, which I also highly suggest you watch. And uh, that's it. Um, first one's not a question, but a comment for anyone watching the video. Uh, it's not open broadcasting service, it's open broadcasting software. Um, my question though is, how did you, um, because as far as I can tell, you were using a much smaller image for the game, like game window. How did you account for that as well as aspect ratios of your recording? and the actual native aspect ratio of the game possibly being different? Ooh, that is a good question. I actually, I had it uh, as a small thing there because I wanted to see like, here's the here's what the service looks like. Uh, but I did actually have it full screen the whole time. And uh, I kind of assumed uh, that aspect ratio wouldn't matter that much because if the other things become bigger at the same time. It's all based on the kind of the door, right? And I, if it's always the same size at the whole time, at, at, when it's in full screen, then it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Yes, Doc? In your opinion, in Super Mario Bros. 64, is gravity a force or a manifestation of the curvature of space-time? I saw that you had an image in there that hinted one direction. Ooh, that is interesting. I'm pretty sure it is more of a, probably more of actually just a force on its own. Actually, it's just a data value that says you're always moving down when you're in the air. Uh, so light, for instance, goes in a straight line even in a gravitational field. Yes, because it's a video, because it is a video game, it probably does not have the same quantum rules. Like that's that's an interesting thing. Also, there are objects which would probably probably should have their own gravitational fields, but do not. However, in Super Mario Galaxy, that might be a different story. Yes? If you were to drop Super Mario into a real-life black hole with your uh, TV screen, would, um, would he then always have that constant value and follow the curvature of space on? <laughs> Got him. I'm pretty sure if he fell into a black hole, he would get a game over. Call him. <laughs> you say, would Luigi be stronger than Mario? He is taller, but I'd have to figure out how much Luigi weighs. Uh, so if he weighs less, then, but can jump the same height. Actually, Luigi can jump higher than Mario. That is something interesting. Uh, but there's no way to figure that out in this game, because Luigi isn't in this game. Yeah. Tia. <laughs> so he might be. Thank you, Thomas.